everybody. It's the Dreamcaster 101. I'm playing an absolutely amazing game on the Dreamcast. This is Rez! Yeah, uh, that was a really big intro. But Rez is an absolutely amazing game if you haven't played it yet. Oh my god, it's fun. Oh my god. So as you can see, it has a very cool art style. Everybody who worked on Rez, I want you to know that you are awesome. I barely played it, but I can tell you already it's awesome. This one doesn't even take any yelling. This is just an awesome game. So basically how it works is you Star Fox the bitches and it looks original it originally it looks off the bat like it's just a, a simple little game. But watch it speed up and stuff. It gets fucking hectic and it is so fun. And I'm playing with a little bit of lag, so if I play like shit, don't yell at me. All right. Well, as you can see, I'm a little polygon. Yeah. I shoot at other little polygons, and I have to find them and stuff. That thing I can do at several times, I don't know that. So, now I go to another level, and it looks fucking sick! Isn't that awesome? I mean, this game is just so cool. It's like the Star Fox meets Guitar Hero, baby. It's like Guitar Hero went on a world tour and accidentally knocked somebody up, and it ended up being fucking beatboxing robot shit. And it's amazing. Look at this, ready? Here we go. Oh shit, that's awesome. Oh man, oh. Then they start launching rockets at you and stuff. It's just so cool. If you don't think it's cool, fuck you. You can go play Guitar Hero or fucking Call of Duty. This is an awesome idea for a game. And I'm gonna tell you a secret about this game that is just absolutely amazing. In Japan, this game came with a vibrator. I'm not even fucking kidding you. This game came with a vibrator in the box. This is a video game, not some weird thing. You plugged it into your PlayStation 2 version of the game and fucked the PlayStation 2. Killed the Dreamcast. You, pl you plug that thing into the USB slot on the PS2 and you play this game and you uh, finally, even though you're a nerd, you'll finally satisfy your lady. There you go. But look, ready? Here we go. Oh, shit. Oh. I mean, oh, man. And now look. Now we're going sideways. What now? And I just played Virtual On. This is like, oh, man. It's such a So I have no idea what anything, anything that I'm <laughs> I have no idea what is happening besides I am shooting things. If anybody has played this game and is absolutely insulted by my playing, then... Uh. But this game is just so fun. I mean, it is so easy in the beginning, and it is so simple, and it doesn't seem difficult at all, and it doesn't seem exciting at all, but it... Oh, no! So now what's going to happen is if I don't hurry and get one of those little orb thingies from earlier, I am going to die, effectively. I am a little circle, and it's cool to be a circle. And now I'm all good again. Here we go. Ready? Watch. Ready? Whoa! I'm still a ball. But hey, I, eventually I'll kill something and I'll survive. It's a tough game, though, sometimes. I just said it was easy. But like I said, it has a difficulty curve, which is good because video games nowadays don't have difficulty curves. They have Call of Duties. You know what I'm talking about. And here we go! But, I mean, it's... Look how inventive this game is. And the music is pumping and shit. I never talk about the music because I don't get to hear it while I play the game. The way I record it shit. But honestly, oh man. If you have a Dreamcast, pick up this game. It is so fun. I can't even say enough good things about it. I mean, seriously, ask your lady friends. They'll know this game because they've played it before. Yeah. But, oh my god, it is so fun. Oh, look at that. Look, the graphic style is amazing. It stands the test of time because it doesn't have super realistic graphics. Like in 10 years, we'll be in like 3D space with guns and stuff and we'll be laughing at Call of Duty because it's just, it will look ridiculous by now. I don't know what I just did. I did think I did something good. But honestly, you have a PlayStation 2. I'm pretty sure this game came out on Xbox Live Arcade. Like a lot of the games that I will be reviewing. A lot of Dreamcast games come out on Xbox Live. You know why? Because they hold up well and they're um, really good as downloadable games. They really are. 
So basically, you have a Dreamcast, you have a PS2, you have an Xbox 360. You need to buy this game now. You need to support the creator of this game. You need to buy it, not torrent it. Buy it. Look at that. That is sick. Anyway, I'm Dreamcaster101, and if you comment and subscribe, I promise to send you cookies in your mail, but I won't be there, so you can't hug me. So, bye.